You know, I've actually got a pretty good feeling about this NL East team, if I'm being honest. If we go back to my last two debut videos of these finest cards, it was the AL Central and the NL Central, and they didn't go too well. I'm 0-2 in these debut games, and I'm looking to turn that around in this one right now. And this man right here is a big reason why I have that confidence. This might be one of, if not the best hitting cards we've not only just had this year, but we've ever had in Diamond Dynasty. I mean, this is just ridiculous. This is up there with like Babe Ruth from MLB 18. Maxed out contact, maxed out power against lefties. Still 119 power against righties. That's, that's good. Obviously where he's going to lack is in the field, but honestly... Being in left field with still 75 fielding, I'm not super worried. He's, he's got 83 reaction, so that's going to play a big part in the kind of jumps he gets on the ball, and 83 should be solid. The next one we've got here is this shortstop Miguel Rojas from the Marlins. Not super enthused about this card. I mean... He, he's a decent hitter against righties. He's not going to be elite. He's going to have a great glove, but being a shortstop, 71 arm strength for me at least is not going to get the job done. If anything, this guy is going to be a second baseman, but with that 52 speed, realistically, there's just a lot better second base options. So not the best card, but if he faces a lefty, he's going to be pretty decent. The same cannot be said about this Freddie Freeman. No matter what, no matter what your opinion is on his splits here, the fact of the matter is, is this card is not going to hit lefties as well. But yeah, this is probably one of the more controversial cards. A lot of people thought he should uh, have better numbers against lefties, considering what other people's numbers have been. But I don't know, this dude's still a tank against righties, so if, if he faces a righty, he's going to be up there with some of the best first basemen in the game. Especially having 92 fielding with 93 reaction. 93 reaction is big because of those uh, hard hit balls down the line, stuff he can dive on, that's going to play a big role. JT Real Muto is also looking like a pretty good card. We've debuted two catchers so far, this will be the third. And JT almost seems like a bit of a hybrid between the two. The first one we did was Perez. He was a really good hitter, but he gave up a little bit in fielding behind the plate. Not a ton. The other guy, though, was Jacob Stallings. Wasn't the best hitter all around, but dude could field. But with Rio Muto, you got pretty good hitting. He's kind of got those weird-looking splits, so he's got a strength against both sides. If you face a righty, he's going to hit for power, but if you face a lefty, he's going to have elite contact. 91 arm behind the plate should be good enough to throw out most runners, and 90 blocking is going to be a pretty good wall behind the plate. And 75 speed, that's something you don't see too often on a catcher. And then the last guy we have here is the ace, the starting pitcher, two-time Cy Young Award winner, Jacob deGrom. And I am excited about this card because in the past, Jacob deGrom cards, no matter how juiced they were, they always seemed hittable. But the key difference about this card is they gave him outlier. So that's going to pump that fastball up to 102 miles an hour. So that makes those speed differentials even more pronounced. And then with those really good per nines, I mean, the PCI is going to not be that big. The only bad thing is he really doesn't have any of those cheesy pitches. I mean, a slider is pretty good, but like, we all know we want to see a sinker. So just in case you're new and you didn't see the last two finest debuts, uh, I fill the rest of the team out with other cards that are available in the NL East's affinity programs. So we filled out the rest of the four position spots with that, and then the bench, and then the rest of the pitchers are from that. And the bullpen was not not very good. I mean, I should mention the bullpen isn't from Affinities just because there is not enough. There might not even be any. So I just filled out a bullpen of relievers from these five teams that I already had in my inventory. And like, there's only four diamonds. So I might be looking to throw DeGrom to his absolute limit. And then when he is done, I might just bring in another starter. And again, with losing those last two games, that brought me down to a 645 rating. So we're playing on All-Star for this one, which is kind of unfortunate. But hopefully the bats should come alive. All right, it looks like we're the home team for this one. Who do we have to face? Jim Palmer. Huh, he must be going for a prestige or something because you do not usually see Jim Palmer. Honestly, his team as a whole is kind of 
different. Oh, and he has Posada. Posada always hits off of me. I have no plans on losing this game. We are not dropping three in a row in these finest debuts. You know, I will say, through these first five pitches, DeGrom's... Oh, yeah, his control is not where I would have liked it to be. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. You don't want to walk Trey Turner to lead... Oh, and he's... Okay. Guy's playing small ball in the first inning. This should be a fun one. Oh, and I left a change up in the zone, and we can't get there. No, no, no. Freeman's supposed to have the feeling to make that play. Dude, why can't you locate? You're Jacob deGrom. Oh, this is just, this is just not an ideal situation. Oh, we're not going <laughs> to... I wanted to go home with it, but that ball was hit so slow that I didn't think I had to play. Oh, and here's here's a 5 nothing game. Man, DeGrom just doesn't have an out pitch. This is the ninth pitch of the bat. No, and I left it right down the... Okay, we're still going. There we go. We might have found it there. Missed the spot, of course, but it still had him fooled anyway. Let's not get this... Let's not let this get out of hand. It's only two runs, two hits. There it is. There's the offense. That's the fun part. No doubt home runs. Freddie Freeman. Rimuto, that's two in a row. Two no doubters. Okay. This is looking good once again. We're actually hitting the ball in this game. That's that's a difference from the last two. Soto. Ah. Man, of, of all these finest players, the one I would have most expected to hit a home run was Soto. Alright, assuming we can get there, that's a much better inning. Three quick outs, no worries. The ground might be settled in now. Ah, that's not going to do anything. Alright, well, oh, look at that! I forgot that that's a thing that happens. Nope. He is an inside-out pop-fly machine, just like Tim Anderson. It must be something with shortstops. That should be run down two by Dawson. So now that's two innings in a row. DeGrom has settled in. He just, he just had to work through those first inning heebie-jeebies, but he's good. All right, back-to-back -back homers again. That'd be, that'd be nice. I'd be up for that. Oh, that was the pitch, too. Oh, I... What is going on with him in the field? I don't know what even just happened there. Why am I on first? Real Muto, I probably shouldn't have been first pitch swinging on the slider. Man, what, what am I doing? Oh, look at that dot. I gotta give him credit. That was just good. That was also the third time in a row he came up and in, so I just wasn't looking for it. I didn't think he'd do that. Oh, and now he's thinking I'm late on the fastball because he's just he's just going inside with the fastball. You know what? I was that time. You're not going to get me with that every time. I, I hope he tries to keep sneaking the fastball inside because this game will turn on its head quick if he does. There we go. Four pitch strikeout. We got to see more of those with somebody who has 125 Ks per nine. God. What is going on with the Grom's command? I swear it's not me. Not every time. Yeah, there's there's the Posada now. Okay, the Grom, let's get back to normal. We can't let the hit by pitch rattle ya. Please be two. Come on, turn it fast. Nice. Good job, Rojas. Good job, Jazz. Wow, Trey Turner, man. Why is he so scary? That's two pretty decently hit balls for him. Please get there, Juan. Show your glove. Alright, at least there was two outs, so that's not that's not awful. That is gonna be the problem with Soto though. Oh no. Please get there. Dawson in center field 
has been just so good. Oh, they gave me this, the call on that. Thank you, umpire crew. Oh, 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 oh. Look at where that was. And then, oh, don't let that get... Why? Wait, how is he only on second? There's why I didn't want to just put Correa on. Because now I got to face Corey Seager with two on. That's gone. Oh, uh, finally, though. Like, I, I've deserved that a lot. DeGrom's missed a lot of spots, and he just he just hasn't turned on any of them. You know what, guy? You deserve to be out. I brought the, the defense in all three of Turner's other bats, and I thought with a four-run lead, he's not going to try and bunt to get on with two outs. <sighs> Dude... There is no way I was late on that. That is the exact pitch I was sitting on in that situation. You know, I I severely underestimated the effect that playing so much Conquest would have on jumping into ranked seasons. That's how you turn on a fastball. Take notes, everybody else on the bench. Throw me a ball. Walk me. There we go. All right. We might have something going here. Two on, one out. Mike Schmidt. Oh no! Give me the check swing, man! Please! Conforto. That's not gonna be a. No, that would have been close, actually. He got a bad animation. Well, I can't leave DeGrom in. We gotta put our trust at the plate in Luis Garcia. That was a good pitch. The idea, idea. Wow, did I? Why? How am I late on that? How did I miss that? That's a slider with the bases loaded. Yeah, so like I just don't want to use the bullpen. So Al Leiter's coming in this game. <laughs> I kind of hope he can just give three innings because, yeah. That worked. Let's hit top of the order again. So it's another chance for Rojas and the other finest players. He, he accidentally has a shift on, a lefty shift for a righty. There we go, I did it. All I wanted to do was turn on it. He has no one there. That's gonna be a single. Ryomuto, oh, he kind of messed up. I don't know if he would have cut that off anyway. This might be a run with 52 speed. We're gonna test it. Turner doesn't have the best arm in center. We're gonna get in there. JT Ryomuto brings us to half their score now. All right, Soto's getting another chance though, and it's gonna be against Gagne. I, I'm 50-50 on Gagne. Sometimes I light him up, sometimes I can't touch him. And this time I'm lighting him up. Juan Soto turning on the inside changeup. I don't know what he was trying to throw there. It's a one-run game once again. And Juan Soto goes deep. And what is happening to my voice? Did you hear that? Again? <sighs> Please be a good slider. No! That's the last thing you want to do is put them on base for free. They're not even earning their way on there. That's good, though. That'll be two. Oh, what's he doing? What's he doing? Throw it to third. That's a triple play. He messed up, ran himself out of the inning. Let's take the lead now after that mistake. All right, I really don't trust any of my other pitchers, so I don't want to take lighter out. So I'd really like Conforto to get... A hit or an extra base hit and then we can just move him over actually I don't even know if I trust the bunt him over strategy I do trust an absolute shot to the gap though that's gonna put Conforto on second and we actually might be able to bunt him over to third lay it down good bunt lighter that might even be a single look at that oh he almost beat it out oh no you're not allowed to just spam the fastball. I know, I know I have to be ready for it, but when someone's got as much junk as Gagne, you don't really expect just a straight fastball every pitch. Yeah, and he's going to the... Oh, and it's crochet. Say goodbye to this inning. 
Oh my god, that was just sad. There we go, lighter. Dude, you've got Hornsby on the bench and you're starting Murphy. What what are we doing here? That's a good pinch hit. One pitch weak grounder, and this is it. This is the bottom of the ninth, down by one. All right, man, I am not going to lay down for Crochet here. We're going to fight. We're not going down without a fight. That's a good start. JT, base hit. He's got three hits in this game. No! Duh! I was so ready for him to dot that up and in corner that I expanded the zone. Dawson, please get down. No, that's too good of a swing to not get a result. I can't leave Jazz in. I can't go lefty-lefty with two outs. Ozzy Albee is coming in off the bench. He's going to be our last hope. He's good against lefties. Oh, he's going to take him out. He's afraid of Ozzy Albies with Garrett Crochet. And this isn't... We're not talking the new postseason Albies. We're talking 89. Yeah, all right. I'll play your game, man. Andres Jimenez, not not quite as confident with him as I was with Albies against Crochet, but we're, we still got the matchup. All right, Andres Jimenez, that's that's his job done. Base hit, that's all we can ask for off the bench. No, no, dude, no, no. Of course that would be how it ends. Not being able to get around on the fastball. And of course, just because I haven't been doing good, I'm like too amped up for it because I want to prove myself. And then I expand the zone, swing at something too far inside. I really, I don't know what is happening in these games. That's three losses in three of these finest card debuts. But... All three of the losses are by one run. And I really, I mean, I know there were plenty of pitches I should have hit that I didn't. But I still put 14 hits on the board. We got to score more than five. But anyway, unfortunately, we're, <laughs> we're ending with another loss. Another one run loss. Stay tuned. We still got three more finest division debuts to go after this one. We got the AL East and then both the Western divisions. So make sure you subscribe if you want to see those videos when they come out, hopefully soon. But with that being said, that's it for me in this one. I hope you guys all enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.